What's happening guys? Welcome back to the workshop. It's been a very successful and busy week here at Zebrano HQ and I thought I'd top the week off by propose proposing a toast uh, to all of you guys, my customers and followers. And we all know there's no better way to propose the toast than having a couple of frothy ones with the boys. Look at me, Mr. Fancy with the parody. So in order to get this party started, I decided to make this bottle opener that says blood, sweat, and beers. I made this project with a few simple tools and materials, including this bar blade bottle opener. Bar blade. This trusty pyrography tool. Some serious glue. A load of old wood veneers. <laughs> I've included links to the tools and materials I used to make this bottle opener uh, in the description, so go and check those out. And if you also like this swanky pyrography design, you can Purchase it for a meagre sum from my Etsy shop, download it instantly, and then use it in your own projects. So without further ado, let's have us a party. To begin the project, I glued up a few pieces of wood veneer using the serious glue. Uh, each piece was about 80mm by 40mm. I made a lamination for both sides of the bottle opener using maple and walnut, and after gluing all the pieces of veneer together, I clamped them up and left the glue to cure. Then I trimmed each piece on the bandsaw so the edges were perfectly flat and sanded the faces and edges with a few grits of sandpaper. I once again used the serious glue to stick the pieces of wood to the bottle opener. I just applied a generous amount of glue to the wood smeared it all in with a brush and then clamped it down between two pieces of wood to ensure an even amount of pressure was applied. Time for the boring bits. This is how I transferred my design to the wood and for this stage I need to show you how I use some technology. So this is a free image editing software called GIMP and all I did was open a new project ensuring the resolution was set to 300 dpi for good quality. Then I changed the dimensions of the canvas to 40mm times 80mm. With my canvas set up, I opened up my blood, sweat and beers artwork in a .png format, so it was just a line drawing. Then I copy and pasted this into my 40 times 80 mil canvas and resized it until it was a good fit. I printed the artwork cut it out and taped it to a piece of carbon copy paper. Then I just taped my paper to the bottle opener and began transferring the design. To do this, I simply traced over all the lines with a pencil, which left a magical blue imprint on the wood. And that is one way to transfer a pyrography design to wood. Uh, let me introduce you to the Bernie Star, my pyrography tool. And the reason I like this tool is because it has a variable temperature gauge, uh, so you can kind of choose what temperature you want. And it's got a really nice ergonomic grip, and it comes with one of these nice little tips as well. That's what I'd recommend uh, if you're going to get a pyrography tool then get one with variable temperatures. It uh, just allows you to do more professional work. Speaking of professionals at work, here's me burning some lines like a boss. This is sped up quite a bit, but I just traced over all of the lines carefully and slowly until I had a nice outline of the design. Next, I did a bit of shading by turning the temperature down on the tool and picking out a few details, like where the scroll overlapped, uh, the beer inside the bottle, and a few shadows here and there. These darker bits really brought the design to life, and here's how the finished artwork looked. To finish up, I applied a few layers of oil, and this really made the grain pop. So that brings me to the end of the project. Uh, Honestly, I'm not really sure if I even like this uh, one that much. It's not perfect by any means. Definitely has a, a few mistakes, but that just adds to its endearing handmadeness, I guess. <laughs> it's no oil painting, but it facilitates me indulging my drinking passion. 
As always, thank you for watching. Check out those pyrography designs on Etsy. Check out the links to the gear on eBay. Party hard, bro!